Hi, Warren here from uh, Wall Commonoy. Uh, we're going to do another fuse welder post. Um, this time, uh, a, a, an old customer of mine from many years ago uh, asked whether we could have a look at these. Uh, you might recognise these. These are from the agricultural industry. This is uh, a type of plowshare uh, that's, that's hooked up behind a, a tractor a couple of times a year, and all the farmers up and down the country, in every country, use them to um, till the land. Uh, turn the land over. And the amount of wear these are subject to is actually quite terrific. This particular one has got two edges, um, so when it, when it starts to wear at this end, the, 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 the farmer or the tractor driver can simply unbolt it, turn it over, and reuse the other end. So you get the, the economics out of these. They're not particularly expensive to buy, but it's more the fitting and changing around and stuff like that which causes a lot of uh, sort of inconvenience. So I thought we'd do something of hard facing, uh, a ground engaging tool from the agricultural industry. Um, this is how it comes, this one is brand new. Uh, it's painted, you can see all I've done is I've ground the paint off uh, using a grinder, I haven't used the shot blaster this time. And I've just taken the edge off that corner, so if it needs to be ground back to a point, there's still some material on the corner. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to make that just over the side of there so I don't destroy the bench. Uh, and I'm going to use the uh, trusty Mark 8 fuse welder torch for a different powder this time. This time we're going to use Colmenoy 7631-60F. The F, as I've mentioned in previous posts, is a uh, fuse welder powder. It's, it's a grain range of plus 20 to minus 106 microns. So it suits this type of torch, an absolute treat. I've got the same size nozzle in the number 64, but this is a single orifice nozzle, because for this torch, uh, well really for the Mark 9, which is a bit bigger than this, we do these uh, multi-flame nozzles for um, high deposition rates, and they really do put a lot of powder down. But this job's not big enough, really, for one of those. Uh, the powder, 7631-60F, is a two-part powder. You may have heard me mention these in previous posts. This is actually made up of Colmenoy 63, which is a matrix. And that gives us a nominal hardness, 62, 63, Rockwell, that sort of, uh, that sort of level. Um, but it's blended, it's pre-blended, with 60% cast and crushed Tungsten carbide, that's your archetypal WC-W2C. And the hardness of those carbide particles are probably uh, somewhere between 2,200 vickers to 2,800 vickers. Um, and that, that, those carbides are designed not to melt with this type of deposition, so you end up with a deposit that's made up of a slightly softer matrix, Colmeno 63, distributed throughout with these very sharp, angular, very hard tungsten carbide particles. Absolutely fantastic for ground engaging tools. We sell it to this also to, to um, uh, oil tool manufacturing companies that make certain types of uh, uh, downhole tools, drill bit stabilizers, drill bits, um, steering pads, this sort of thing. So it's great resistance to uh, fine particle abrasive wear. Very, very good indeed. Um, so, okay, we'll give this a standard preheat, I'll give it a dust coat, and then we'll start to weld. Okay?
way in from the thin edge, where the heat can be built up very easily into the, uh, the centre. So we've already got the heat. That hasn't taken uh, very long at all, and um, there's got a fantastic amount of powder on there. But uh, that's gone on an absolute dream, and that should really extend the life of, uh, of this particular component. So, there we go. We've taken around about 10 minutes, a few grams of powder, and uh, for that, will really extend the life of this particular part. There's almost a train of thought with these because you can buy um, ground engagement tools like this from, from most agricultural merchants that are already hard faced, they're hard faced the factory. But you pay an awful lot of money for those versus the uh, the, the ones that are these are these are that have got no hard face and are relatively cheap. So there's almost a train of thought that suggests buy the cheap ones and for the sake of uh, 10 or 15 minutes, hard face it with that, and you'll get fantastic performance. Probably better performance with the amount of tungsten carbide that's in that than you will get out of an expensive building one. Something maybe worth thinking about. If you want to make any more details on that, you want data on the powder, data on the fuse welder, after you watch this, just uh, just drop us an email or, 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 or um, uh, on, on the phone and uh, we'll be happy to send out any information you want. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.